maze. I... I don't like this place, Henry. There's so much ink around. I can feel it. It's... it's everywhere. I don't like it either, Ben. I hate this machine. But we have to get to its core to have a chance to stop it. Don't worry, Tom knows the way. Jesus Christ! So, this is the core. This is where the special ink is made. Joey hit it deep into the ground. If this core delivers the ink everywhere in the studio, then maybe if I add my golden ink... Tom, you still know how this whole thing works, right? Alright. Plan A, I use my golden ink. Plan B, we destroy the core. <laughs> Hey, are you okay? You're shaking. Henry, I, I want to get out of here. That machine, it is making weird noises. It's like a heartbeat, but very loud. It's not going in my head, and it's very scary. I, I don't trust this place. I want to leave. Hey, hey, calm down. It's okay. <laughs> there, deep breaths. Listen. I really don't want to be here either, trust me. But we might have a chance to stop the machine right now. And we have to take this chance. You think you can handle it just a little longer? <sighs> okay. Uh, okay. I'll do my best. You're doing great already, little buddy. Let's be honest. It's just a machine. It can't hurt us. There's no ink demon anymore. No profit. No Alice Angel, no projectionist. Nothing bad can happen to us. Don't be so nervous. It's going to be okay. They're just checking the machine. They'll be back soon. I know, I just... Uh, I can't help but worry about them. Especially Tom, since he got his memories back. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm? What's funny? The thing you just did. Putting your hands around your neck. You used to do this when you were nervous before recording your songs. Back when you were still, uh... When I was still a human? Y yeah How was I back then? Hmm? I still can't remember who I am. Henry was able to draw my portrait, but he didn't know me back then. And Tom can't talk. But you... I was hoping. You were nice. You were the kind of person no one could get mad at. To be honest, I think everyone liked you back then. Well, you were just a co-worker to me, but you were one I could easily tolerate. <laughs> tolerate? Trust me, the list of people I could tolerate was short. I think it was only you, Jack, Henry, and... Susie. Who's Jack? An old friend. He was writing lyrics for my songs. He used to like you too. He became a searcher. And Susie was the woman you loved, right? I... it's more complicated than that. Well, in any case, glad to hear I was a tolerable person. Oh, don't make fun of me. Oh, and what about Tom? Could you tell me how he was back then? Oh, um... he... <laughs> Sammy? Sammy! What's wrong? The... the ink... The... It's calling me. This hasn't happened since Henry brought me back. Oh, my head. Something's going on. We need to check on the others. Uh, Come on, Sammy. They need our help. Allison, uh, 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 stop! It's too loud! Did you hear that? <laughs> it's Henry's voice! Wait. It's... It's coming. Quick! Run! 
What the? Don't just stand there! monster is following us anymore. Oh, thank goodness. Cause I was getting a bit tired. <coughs> what just happened to him? Henry! Henry! Come on, answer me! Breathe! You really seem to enjoy freaking us out, right? You... Sammy! The ink! It's, it's gotten stronger! It knows what we're doing! It's trying to get more powerful than the golden hey, ink! Hey, hey! Calm down! It's using souls to get stronger! Souls trapped in the dark puddles! What? I saw them! They were screaming! Begging for help! We need to save them! I need to save them! I must... Oh. <laughs> Henry! He's all right. In bad shape, but still breathing. They're both in bad shape. And he's exhausted, and he's shaking. We should head back to the harbor. Uh, Sammy? As Henry gets more powerful, the ink does everything to be the strongest one. He thought we finally had a chance, but now the ink itself is guarding the machine. Getting out of the studio is going to be harder than we thought. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. He's asleep now. Good to know. This moron keeps hurting himself with his own power. Don't be too harsh on him. He just wanted to protect us. That doesn't mean he has to keep putting his own life in danger. But he was panicking. We all were surrounded by the ink. He just doesn't fully control his power. That's exactly the problem! He never tries to understand the limits of his own body. <sighs> he hasn't changed in 30 years. He never knew how to take care of himself. He'd do anything to help his co-workers, but him, he almost died for a deadline. And were you always so overprotective towards him? <sighs> He's my friend. I just care about him! Is there anything wrong with that? <laughs> Sammy, hush! <laughs> it's okay, Henry. We're safe. Go back to sleep. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound rude. I was just... wondering. Please, don't tell them what I'm about to say. Back then, Joey used to say that me and Henry were more similar than we thought we were. I never understood what he meant by that. We were both workaholics, but we were quite different. I just thought it was one of Joey's weird ways to motivate us. But now, now I get it. When I look at Henry, I feel like I'm looking at myself. Another version of me, a better version of me. A version that took better choices in his life. Who knows? I could have left the studio, proposed to Susie, started a family, and written music for something better. And Henry might have become the monster I am today. 
All that makes us two different were our choices. To be honest with you, Allison, no matter what we do, I don't think I'm going to get out of this place. For me, I already died long ago. I might still have my soul, but my body is dead. I don't belong in the outside world anymore. But I keep telling myself that if Henry is free, a part of me will be free as well. I've been a terrible person all my life. I just want to do something good, just for once, so my soul can finally be at peace. Ah. Uh, uh, sorry, I was ranting. Oh, no, it's all right. I didn't mind, really. <laughs> Actually, it's quite nice to hear you so sincere and so human. It feels like the monster you are is long gone now. Uh, I... I'm glad to hear that. Henry really brings the best out of us, right? I also hope that Bendy will get out of the studio, too. He really deserves it. He's such a sweet little devil. I hope so, too. <laughs> Who could have thought we would say that one day? <laughs> True. 